I want to show you how to make one of my favourite soups at the moment. It's very easy to do, it's very traditional, it's very Italian. It's a combination of beans and winter vegetables. It has an added element of stale bread that goes into it. It's a really nice winter warmer and I think you're going to really enjoy it. I've got all the ingredients laid out right here. I've done a little preparation already. My onion has been diced, I've got one onion there. I've got two carrots diced, two leeks diced and one good stick of celery. Good clove of garlic in there. So I'm going to get a big pan on the heat and I'm going to start sweating some of this veg down. Into that goes our diced onion and our garlic. You don't want anything to burn, okay? You don't want anything really to colour, you're just softening, sweating the veg down. If you're at all nervous about the heat on the hot plate, lift up the cooler one and slide it over. The flexibility of working on these two solid tops, so fantastic, it makes cooking so easy. You want to crank up the heat, over you go. It's one of the real joys of cooking on an Essex. I've just got some cabbage to prepare here, but you don't have to use cabbage. Actually, kale is really nice, a nice dark kale or even a curly kale. I'm going to shred it, okay, fairly finely. This is going to go in a colander and have a quick wash. So my veg is sweating down and my cabbage is washed and ready to go. The next stage is to get some tomatoes, beans and stock into the pan. I've got about two thirds of a tin of chopped in tomatoes. In the summer, it would be nice to use really nice, ripe, fresh tomatoes, but this is perfectly all right. I'm just going to blitz it up just to get rid of any big chunks. If you don't have one of these stick blenders, you can rub it through a sieve, it's absolutely fine. They're going into the pan. Now, on top of the tomatoes, I'm going to add half of my beans. These are butter beans, but you could use cannellini or harrico with the rest of the beans. I've put them in the jug that had my tomato sauce in. I'm just going to blitz them up, make a bean puree with a little bit of the vegetable stock. Pureeing the beans like this not only adds to the overall texture of the soup, but it adds a really buttery depth, which is hard to not like. Onto the sweated veg and tomato and beans, I'm adding a vegetable stock but actually a chicken stock would be really, really delicious. And we finish it off with that beautiful bean puree. It's going to help to give it a thickness and a really nice depth of flavour. A little bouquet garni, a little herb parcel. We've got rosemary, thyme and bay. That's going to nestle in there. And we're going to let this simmer for about an hour. The soup's been simmering away now for about an hour. I've got my cabbage here. I'm going to get some of that in. Good couple of handfuls of the cabbage and we're just going to let that simmer away in the soup. While that's happening, I'm going to toast some slices of sourdough. The bread element to this soup is really important. You actually put the bread in the bowl and spoon the soup over and because of the nature of the sourdough, because it's slightly stale and toasted, it adds a huge amount to the soup, not only in terms of flavour but texture as well. Final drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Twist of black pepper. And that's it. I mean, really, it's a meal in itself, isn't it? It's a really hearty, winter warming soup. Refined slightly in a smaller bowl is going to make a fantastic starter. Maybe followed up with some scallops with pancetta.